much does the log truck weigh? Uh, well, empty, I normally gross around 30, 30 to 32,000. Those trailers are heavy then, huh? Oh yeah, they, they weigh all right. And then if you consider I have a load of wood on there, we'll be up right around our legal limit in Alabama is 88,000. It's actually 80,000, but we have a 10% tolerance. What's going on with the truckers? So on today's video, uh, I just want to talk about what just recently happened in Tomingo, Mississippi. There was a four-wheeler that was driving at full speed and she was blinded by the sun and went strictly straight into a log truck and went so far in that she went all the way through like final destination and actually destroyed the bumper. And guess what? She survived. The two logs went through her car, went through the truck, and both people survived. And hers went through and went across her ears, and she was not injured. I mean, it's the craziest thing. Today, we have Log Hauler 2020, Nick, a great guy, a logger for so many years, and he's going to give us some safety tips to let us know a little bit about the logging world. Mother Truckers, comment down below, and definitely, if you'd like to share your story, News at gmail.com. Let's go. What up, bro? How's it going? Man, you know, I see you all over the place, man. People, uh... Say you got the best luck when it comes to getting weighed on the <laughs> middle of the highway. You know, <laughs> oh, I see them just about you know at least twice, three times a week, every week. So three times a week you got to go through that. So when I see them personally, they're random here in Alabama. So you know they set up. It depends on where I'm hauling at the time. I mean they're set up every single day. Now, uh, where's that section so other people know? Um, well, you know, you got places up and down Highway 280 between um, Alexander City and uh, Opelika. Mm -hmm. You got on uh, US 31 over around Clanton, Alabama. And I mean, you got places up around Churchburg, Alabama on 280. They're they're pretty much everywhere. They're they're portable. So they could be sitting in the middle or sitting at, you know, a restaurant eating lunch and see you pass by and chase you down, get your license and say, hey, go right up here to that turning line and wait on me. Wow. So. You know, uh, your personal thoughts, do you think it's safe that they do it right there on the side of the highway like that? No, no, not at all. We actually had a meeting last week, week four last, with the head of the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. And there was over 60 loggers and truck drivers that showed up. And he said he was going to take care of the situation, but we haven't seen any change yet. Just like the other day, I mean, I got pulled over in a turning lane with cars coming by and road, trucks lined up in the road, you know. Oh yeah, let's let's show you some love right now on that. Uh, um, you know, make sure you guys follow my man Log Hauler Twenty Twenty. So you can see right here. Tell us what's going on. And basically, you know, you pass a little sign. Sometimes they have signs. Sometimes they don't. Saying trucks, all trucks, and so they're just set up on side road, and you got to pull in them. If you pass them, they'll chase you down and make you turn around and come back. And you have to pull up, and then they'll take your license, and then they'll ease you up on the scale, and they weigh each axle. That's crazy, man. Look, I can see those cars going by. That's super dangerous. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm, them cars are doing 65, 70 miles an hour when they go by. Man, I, I tell you, brother. You know, so, you know, the reason why I wanted to have you on the show is uh, how much logging experience you got these days? Man, I've been in it for going on 14 years. So, I ain't going to say it, but you got that baby face. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 33. And so, I actually, I started logging. You know, I've been around it all my life. And as soon as I was old enough to get my city L's, I jumped straight in a log truck. And that's gotcha. where I've been. I've been in the woods a little bit, but I can't get out of a truck. <laughs> I heard that, brother. So, uh, you know, we want to have you on the show today because uh, definitely about safety. I sent you that picture that just happened a couple of days ago where uh, it looks like this four-wheeler did not stop and ran so hard into this log truck. And they said in the article that it was because uh, there was sun in her eyes yeah. and so she couldn't see, but she ran so hard into it that she actually destroyed his bumper and all the logs you can see in that picture go through her freaking car, but the other two go past her shoulders and she yep. survives. I've so seen it times. We actually, it was probably about five years ago, a friend of mine one of his drivers actually had it happen on a four lane highway. Like I was just pulled over on and um, he had pulled out of the road and the car was in the left lane. It was early one morning. I mean, the sun wasn't even quite all the way out yet. He had his blinking lights on the back, had his flags, everything. 
um, they come up on him not paying attention and ran slap into the back of his load of wood. And when they did, he just happened to get his seat to lay back. If his seat wouldn't have fell all the way back, the log would have went straight through him. So your guys' job is so dangerous. So can you tell us a little bit about how log trucks maybe operate and how it might be a little different so four-wheelers and truck drivers can know how to drive around y'all? Well, basically, our biggest deal is you got to really pay attention. Um, we can't stop on a dime, just like every other truck. And then, unlike most trucks, you know, we have a lot of overhang on the back. And, I mean, we don't have, you know, a huge excessive amount, but we have overhang. We put lights on it. We put flags on it. Um, most majority of our trailers now, due to insurance regulations, we have little flashing lights on the back of our trailers themselves. Mm. So, empty we got little lights back there like strobe lights flashing and so you know i mean just pay attention that's all you got to do don't get in a hurry if you're running late for work you should have woke up earlier <laughs> i like that nick you know, I, have, uh, I have people that come by me i'll be doing you know 55 which is the speed limit and they'll come by me on you know in a curve double yellow line passing me with a load of wood and there's cars coming at them i mean you know ain't nothing worth your life no i heard that brother you know um for the people that don't know, you know, most trucks, like I was moving furniture, we wouldn't have anything in that box that weighed more than 30,000 pounds. Yep. How much does the log truck weigh? Uh, well, empty, I normally gross around 30, 30 to 32,000. And that's the wow. trailer. Those trailers are heavy then, huh? Oh, yeah. They, they weigh all right. And then if you consider I have a load of wood on there, we'll be up right around our legal limit in Alabama is 88,000. It's actually 80,000, but we have a 10% tolerance. So we can legally haul 88,000. So you guys are always running heavy. Yes. You know, and um, so for all the people out there, just know that long truckers, even though you can see that wood right there, you don't understand. It's actually heavier than a lot of trucks and whatever they have in their box. So, you know, uh, I know that because I got a couple log uh, hauler friends, but, you know, most don't know that. You know, here's a fun Here's a fun question for you. Since you got to haul so heavy, what is the best truck to haul logs? Well, you know, everybody's like, oh, I'm a Peterbilt man or I'm a Kenworth man. Everybody's got their own, but I've majority through. I, I like the look of a Peterbilt. I really do. But I've drove a Kenworth now for, I can't even remember how many years, a W900. And I yeah. love it. Actually, my, the dr truck I drive now is a 2020 W900. has the X15 Cummins motor in it. Mm -hmm. And it does good. I, I'm right now. I think I've had it three years and three months. I've put 329,000 miles on it and just topped 10,000 hours this past Friday. No, I heard that, you know, and for people that are interested that don't have family members in the logging game, do you, do you recommend them learn the game and get into it? Like what type of driver would love that lifestyle of a logger? Well, in my opinion, you need a driver that, you know, don't mind working. Nowadays, you know, you got people, they want to go to work and not really make, you know, oh, I want my paycheck, but I don't want to work. I want to work banker hours. Well, you know, you got to work. You can't be scared, you know, at least do your 12 hours, you know, by law. And so, you know, you got to get up and you got to get going and you got to be patient. There's a lot of times we'll go sit in a meal for two or three hours waiting in line. I was going to say, walk me through like a uh, real quick, like a, 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 a normal day for Nick, the log hauler. Well, me personally, I have an amazing crew in the woods. So I actually get started about two, 3 a.m. And, you know, some people, they don't get started six, seven. It depends on your driver. Well, I drive about, I leave the house around two or three, mm -hmm. go to the woods, get my load of wood. They already got loaded for me because we dropping hooks. So we got trailers loaded. And I grab my trailer, take off to the mill, get to the mill, get in and out, get back to the woods and just back and forth all day. But then you got to, you know, take in traffic, especially this time your school traffic. Yeah. And then you also got to take in, you know, how the mills might be. This time of the year, it hadn't quite hit rainy season. So the mills are slap full. They're cutting off pretty much by every Friday because they got so much wood. And so, you know, we're just having to get as much as we can in there. And there's so many people logging that you're liable to be in the mill for at least an hour all the way up to three hours. Wow. Wow. So would you say uh, when it comes to doing the job, um, you recommend it for others? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I love it. It, it. it takes care of my family. It pays my bills. You know, I live a comfortable life. So I, I can't complain. But as some people say, it gets in your blood. You know, I, I've tried leaving logging to go haul flatbed, come right back.
tried to <laughs> right back, went in the woods, ran, you know, some machines, come right back to the truck. And I mean, it's just one of the things kind of like, you know, people that haul bull. Yeah. It's in, you know, once it gets in their blood, that's all they want to do. I know. I, I agree because anyone I know that's a mover, moving furniture, mm-hmm. nobody wants to be a mover because moving yep. furniture sucks. But once you become a mover and that's all you do, that's all you do. Yep. You, you learn all your little techniques and get your routines down and get your habits. Yep. That's just, that's what you know. You know, no, I love that. You know, you know, everybody out there, you know, if, if you're uh, definitely into watching videos of Nick getting pulled over by DOT three times a week, <laughs> or uh, I would hate to ask you this, but if someone has uh, questions on possibly getting to the logging business, you know, maybe you can, you know, give them a couple tips, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I, I'm not by any means am I trying to advertise, but, you know, I'm an admin on Southern Loggers on Facebook. Okay. Um, there's two on there, but the one that I'm an admin of, we have, I want to say it's 53,000 members and it's all loggers, truck drivers, loggers, families. And, you know, it's a great little group we get on. It's me and two other guys that run it. Anybody can get on there, ask questions. Anybody can reach out to me and ask questions. I don't mind helping. I mean, especially if they're interested in logging, you know, I mean, Hey, keep the generations going. No, I heard that. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with advertising. You're on the show. I want everybody to follow my man on TikTok, Log Hauler 2020. And um, also uh, uh, say that Facebook group again or say anything that you'd like, especially the meetings that are coming up so that you can help other loggers know about when these meetings are. It, the floor is yours, brother. Okay. Well, I mean, that, that group is called Southern Loggers. And um, it has, it's either 52 or 53. It's got a little decimal in there, 1,000 members. So mm-hmm. it's not hard to find. All you got to do is request to join it, answer a couple of questions, you know, so we're not, no, you're not fake. And pretty much everybody gets on there. We all share logging photos with each other. We kind of share, you know, hey, heads up here, this location. You know, we don't say the reason, but, you know, kind of watch out here. Um, you know, anytime anybody has a question, hey, my machine ain't working right. What might be wrong, you know? Mm. So, and so it's a very helpful group. It's uh, all across the Southeast, but we also got people all over the world in it. We got people from overseas. We got people, there's a guy from Africa in it that buys export logs. Wow. So, you know, I mean, there, there's a lot of diverse people in it, and it's an awesome group. And besides that, I mean, the meetings, they're kind of come and go. I want to say there's an actual loggers meeting. Might have been this past weekend, and I got to figure out when the next one is. We're trying to get another one together with the head of the law enforcement agency. That way we can try to get some more questions answered just about mainly safety. I got you, man. No, I, I appreciate you so much. Make sure you, you hit my guy up, man. You'll, you'll see Log Holler on Facebook. TikTok, Instagram, I mean, all the good stuff. Yep. I'm, I'm on them all. <laughs> you know, and I'm, I'm glad. Uh, was it your daughter? She's doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, she's fine. She She's running a fever, and um, we, we got it back down, and now she, she's getting a lot better today. So, Hey, I appreciate you. No, thanks for being on the show, and thanks for letting people know how to drive around loggers because a lot of times y'all be heavy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Videos, man. I watch you all the time. I, I appreciate it. I learn a lot, too. Hey, that's why we have everybody from different expertise. That's what's so cool about the channel is I might be a mover. I only know mover stuff. You're a logger. You know logging stuff. We got a flatbed guy doing flatbed stuff. So, you know, no one's a professional at anything, and we're always learning, you know? Oh, yeah. So I appreciate it, man. Have a great day, and happy Halloween. Hopefully, you know, trick-or-treat with the kids and all this and that, and, you know, that's right. Safe. Hey, you do the same. Yes, sir. All right. All right. See you, Nick. Uh-huh. 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 U